Life's a precipice You thought I'd sink to the bottom of the pile But I prefer to rise Acclimatized, I'm the one to make your dreams be true The way you do it is this You know what hockey trouble is, it's you Yo, wake up, open your eyes You have to aim big and wide, aim high So come on Yeah, This week we head for the Mamors and the Devil's Ridge, taking in three Munros, including beautiful Scuravain, and to Scotland's most southerly Munro, Ben Lomond, a mountain taking a pounding from too many boots. Well, we're starting today's walk from the Paul Du car park in Glen Nevis, where two significant things often happen. Firstly, tourists punch each other's noses for the best parking places. And secondly, the River Nevis tumbles dramatically down into Loch Linney. Look, it does, it does. See, very dramatic indeed. We're heading for the Mamors, which is a range of mountains rather logically sandwiched between Kinloch Leven, home of aluminium, and Glen Nevis, home of aluminium chairs. It contains 11 Munros, and we're going to try and do three today, finishing off with Scoot of Aim. And we have to go across something called the Devil's Ridge. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Well, this is one way to start by climbing the stile, but if you want to save a river crossing, which we certainly wish we had, you can begin a few hundred yards down the road. It's a long day and needs an early start. The first uh, would be is pronounced scrubime. Ma'am can mean anything like a, really a lump on the body to a, a, a rounded hill. Scurinure, the peak of the yew tree. You're a yew tree. And it would appear to be a very c common uh, kind of tree in the old highlands. Uh, Stop means as, as much the same word as the English stab, something that stabs. Stop barn, the fair or white stop. Glen Nevis has always been under threat from those who'd like to turn Scotland into a theme park, but happily so far no amount of hot dog stands, gift shops, cafes and visitor centres have undermined its celebrated beauty. It's a very upper-class cairn, this one made of quartzite. Well, we've made it up onto this ridge at last, and there are so many ways to get at the Mamors that the permutations of walks are absolutely endless. We've chosen this one, which is walking along the north ridge of Stobban, simply because it gives us this fantastic airy ridge walk all the way around this horseshoe, taking in two extra Munros, apart from Scurubane, and the fact that you can see exactly where you're going all the way along the walk. Now, that can either be very inspiring, the whole day's walk stretching out before you, or very daunting, showing you how far you're still to go. Oh, daunting, I think. <laughs> Another popular route is to come up from Kinloch Leven, taking a break from walking the West Highland Way. But this is the circular route we're doing. A hard pull up onto the ridge takes us to the first Monroe stall ban. Then we ridge walk towards the next stop, Scuranur. Finally, we brave the section called the Devil's Ridge to take us to Scuravane, then back down to the start point.
bit of scrambling, a bit of slogging, and this is where you get to the top of Stoban, 3,277 feet. Magnificent views all around, on the way down to Loch Linne. Behind, uh, you can see the ridge the other side of the quarry, that Devil's Ridge, <laughs> still awaits us. And you can see down to Loch Leven and Kinloch Leven. It's possible to do all 11 Munros in one day if you're both super fit and extremely stupid. After all, what's the point of racing around the tops if you don't have time to sit at the cairn with your cheese sandwiches and look at views like this? tables are always being revised as grim-faced men argue about the status of mountains. The second top, Skura Nur, at 3,283 feet, was only allowed to become a real Monroe in 1980. It used to be a humble top, but now it gets ticked off by hundreds of baggers. Silly, isn't it? Maybe a big walk, but a whole new set of treats on this side of the quarry. Completely different view and a chance to look back at Stoban. But this is the real treat. Ha 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 ha, the Devil's Ridge. Although I have to say, in summer it doesn't look that demonic. Even though the guidebooks uh, say that some would welcome the security of a rope. Can't see why. However, in winter it's a completely different matter. Crampons, ice axe, the lot. Even in summer though, I have to say, get your hands out of your pockets, bit of concentration, and you should enjoy it thoroughly. Well, so far so good. No mishaps as yet in this narrow little ridge. The only thing to watch out for though is the view is so spectacular on every side. You really should watch where you're putting your feet and not gawk around you as you walk. This behind me though is the first stumbling block, shall we say, the bad step. And as you can see, the obvious way is to go up across the top, leaping from boulder to boulder, or this little bypass path. Hmm, I wonder which one I'll take. The bypass path. <laughs> Pathetic, but even on this innocent bypass path, care is needed. There's a tricky bit to step round. After the effort you have to expend to get this far, the last thing you need is another climb. But I'm afraid there's another big pool to get to the final summit. But if you want to stop and take a photograph of the ridge to impress your sofa-bound friends, then halfway up this last slope is the place to do it, since this is undoubtedly the best vantage point. It's a slightly sad but inevitable fact that popular ridges like this one end up with huge paths cutting across their crests. But when you hit the notoriously slippy quartzite boulder fields near the summit, you suddenly become rather grateful for the path winding between the rocks. Yes. No. <laughs> Well, do I look like a woman who has just safely negotiated the Devil's Ridge? Yes, I do, because here we are at the summit of Skurovane, a sublime mountain at 3,606 feet. It's a huge quartzite dome which glitters in the sunshine. In fact, people from down there in the glen often mistake it as being covered in snow, which plainly it is not. But I have to say that the Mamors are possibly my most favourite, favourite mountains in Scotland. They're accessible from both Edinburgh and Glasgow, and they present some of the most challenging and interesting mountaineering in the whole country. And look what you can see from up here. I can see all the way from the Glencoe Hills 
Behind me across there is the Vare pair, that's Ben Vare and its pointy companion at Balahulish. Down the glittering waters of Loch Linney to the hills of Morven. You can see Ben Recipol poking up there, not a Monroe, but another favourite mountain of mine. Even Fort William can look attractive from a mountain like this. And this is the benign back end of Ben Nevis, just topped with cloud there, but nevertheless you can see the Carnmore Jerigaret sneaking away in here. This is superb!